Howdy, Bart here, and welcome. Kind of wanted to take a look at the um, HQ Residential House Asset Pack. It was uh, free on the marketplace. Uh, if you haven't been checking out the free marketplace stuff, then, well, you should. Uh, simply go to Marketplace and you can scroll down and this is the one right here that I'm looking at it's nice to see uh, John Galt's got one here um, but this month there's 10 normally there's 5 but this month there's 10 so this is the one I'm going to take a look at right here HU Residential House um, but that one looks promising Particle text looks like it ought to be fun. Platformer starter pack. Um, household or house plant pack. Mm. Promising. Um, a little low poly pack. They call it poly art. Oh, okay. Um, it's low poly. It might go well with the uh, platformer starter pack. But this is the one that I'm actually taking a look at. And it's the one I actually have loaded. So let's see, you got actors. We're gonna look at all the files first. Some of the stuff in here looks familiar from a game that I've seen videos on. I don't own the, the game, but have seen gameplay on it. It's called House Party. <laughs> it is not very PG friendly. Um, interesting concept for a game. It's different. Nice, got lanterns, lamps. Lights. Uh, point lights. Table lamps. Safe. Kitchen cabinets. Power meter. All kind of cool stuff. Levels. All right. You got demonstration or demonst yeah, demonstration, which is the most common one that is in these things to take a look at. Modular Interiors Bonus Demo and Overview. So let's go into demonstration. I haven't preloaded anything on this. This is a new project in for 20.3 using my Simple Multiplayer Steam template. So if it's something that I like that I'm doing in here, then I may keep it and it will be multiplayer. So you'll be able to run around with your friends and do whatever. I've also added in the Pedestrian Animation Asset Pack the hell is going on with I'm going to shut over here sorry I'm looking at my streaming software and for some reason the the mixer window is back and forth back and forth back and forth um, webcam should be completely disabled but it was flickering back and forth on and off. Right monitor audio is off. Um, reason why I have that particular one on, I know you can't see what I'm, I'm talking about here, still doing the same shit, flickering back and forth. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, from time to time, what I've done in the past, and which I want to do some more of later on, is go into one of the voice rooms in Discord, and... I have the voice output of people that are talking set up to play through the right monitor, but it will also be run directly into my mixer into Streamlabs and um, go directly into the video. So you'll hear what I hear whenever people are talking in this. So whenever I'm doing a live stream, then I can have people talking to me live as well while we're working on this. Um, was going to be using kinematic soup uh, I just have not set it up I just haven't felt like setting it up uh, I haven't had enough interest from other people to go in there and test with me uh, talked to Dean Ashford about it um, I was going to get him set up with it and Dean I do apologize I, I haven't got back to you on it uh, real life and health issues have kind of kept me away from streaming 
I haven't wanted to stream. I haven't wanted to do anything. I haven't done much gaming. I haven't done much of anything. Been sleeping a lot. Um, it's a mixture of poor health, poor diet, um, being a smoker for roughly 35 plus years. Um, yeah. Depression, all kind of things mixed in that's kept me from wanting to stream. Sorry, I'm spitballing while I'm waiting for all this to load. But, um, yeah. So, this is just about done. We'll walk around the house, take a look at everything. Um, make sure that we enable in world settings. Game mode override, third person game mode. Player underscore base. So let's take a look. Scaling wise, our character immediately runs into the lamp. So the scale of the house is off just a little bit for UE4. The door a little bit small. So everything looks a little bit small. I mean, we could technically shrink our character down, or we could grab every freaking single solitary object in the house and scale it up by just a little bit. Alright, there's no sound from the fireplace. Can walk over the, the table. Of course, no interaction with the chairs yet, because I haven't set it up yet. Um, interesting. Can't walk out the door. Yeah, we're going to have some problems with scaling. It's just a little bit too small. So let's walk over here, see if we can go in the living room this way. There's a TV. Let's actually go into first person view. Um, interesting. So yeah, we, we can't move around the rooms because the, the scaling of the building is a little bit too small. Go back into third person. Walk upstairs. All the doors are closed. Why is there a camera there? So there is cameras in different locations. Interesting. What is that? Door Narrow Actor. Alright, so we got all these different actor blueprints. Um, go to Details. Eh, okay. So we'll have to look for it normal. That is Door Narrow. Door slide, door wide. Well, let's just click on edit and open up the blueprint and see what it is. Hey, you suck donkey nuts. Oh, I so much hate that it does not save your frickin' preferences. Main frickin' window. Disable autosave. Thank you. Ah, uh, okay, press E. So, there is no player start. So, let's actually put one in outside. See what happens. Alright, so we're outside. Come over here. Press E and the door opens. Okay, that's nice. And it automatically closes. Okay. We can't go in there because we're too big. And it doesn't appear that the sliding door works. Okay, no problem. 
that one doesn't work. We know we can't go through there. We can open the bathroom, but we can't go in. We can open up the front door, go in and out. Can we open the garage door? Yes, we can. That's nice. I like that. Can't go in because we're too frickin' tall. Wow, that door just slams down, doesn't it? Um, interesting. All right, so a little buggy, but you know we can't go inside because we're too tall. And as soon as we walk away, the door slams shut. We walk back over to it without touching anything, and it starts opening again. And let's go upstairs. Hey, we can walk in this room. We can't go in there. Can't open those. Too big to fit in there. Walk in the baby room. No problem. Laundry room. Cannot open that door. Um, okay, we're stuck in here now. We can't open. There we go. We can walk in that room. There's a safe in there. A laptop. All right, so. should be a bathroom yep this looks a lot like other than there being a chair right there looks a lot like um, and this room is a little bit different a lot like the um, the house from house party it's a little different but <laughs> there are some similarities. Alright, so... We can go into the garage this way. Walk over to the doors. They automatically start coming up. This one starts automatically coming up, whether we press the button or not. Interesting. It's a nice little animation on the door there but we cannot walk out. So let's actually take a look at our player character and we got our viewport. All right, so we see that our capsule is just a little bit above there. So let's see if we can screw around with that. Capsule component. Um, See, have no way of moving a thing. And now, our feet aren't going to be correct. So if we go in here and play, our feet are on the ground. So we're going to have to move our mesh back up. We can't move our capsule component down because it's the freaking root. Lovely. Let's bring this down to 90 and let's grab our mesh and bring it up. All right. Now we're floating just a little bit above, but. All right. So I walk over to the garage door and it automatically starts going up. Now we can walk in. And the door just chopped us. Okay, so that sucks. Um, our width. Let's change our capsule component radius. Let's go to 38. Make it a little bit thinner. Let 
Now we can walk into the bathroom. We're still a little bit big. So let's see if we can take our mesh and shrink him down just a little bit. Not that much. Let's go to point eight. All right, our capsule component no longer matches with our character. So let's try matching that up. Grab our mesh. Definitely something you'd have to play around with. We're floating. And let's bring it down. And let's change the um, snapping to five. It's a little closer. Now we look so short compared to the uh, the stuff. Well, we can walk mostly around now. That still doesn't open. Let's go upstairs. I don't like the fact that when you get close to a, an object, you see you start climbing up on it. And I, I never did like that. Okay, I come over here to click this, and bathroom opened. So, yeah, there's all kind of little collision issues. No, I'm opening up this door. This door. This door. I want this door. There. So... It's still a little bit off on the scaling. We'll probably go with mesh point nine point nine point nine. Just a hair above the ground, not that big of a deal. Now let's look at our scale compared to the front door. Eh, not bad. Still probably reduce the uh, the radius. Can walk in. Yeah, not not happy with the scale of everything. And that's the the downfall. As a real human, you could walk over here, and you would, you know behave differently. Of course, you wouldn't walk up on your frickin' coffee table and shit like that. But this does look kind of cool. Um, be nice that the, the sliding and door worked. As you can see inside the windows. There's no lighting really outside. There is a little bit, but you got a moon out there. And if somebody was upstairs, you'd be able to see him up there as well. Um, no, I want to open this door. What's happening is the the collision for the door is too big. See how far they extend out? So you can see this box comes out all the way over into here, and then this one comes all the way out and overlaps underneath that one. Um, I would actually shrink this down. So let's edit this. Look at the viewport. Look at the trigger. And 
gonna shrink the trigger down. It's a lot shorter now. So let's actually go upstairs, take a look at it. Still overlapping a little bit too much. See, they're, they're overlapping. So let's shrink it down even more. Little better. Okay, I know, it's free. What do you want for free? It's still overlapping too much to where you can't really get in here and open up this door. It's a pain in the ass to open that door, in other words. Um, it's better. Uh, let's see here. I think that needs to go. Now I can walk in at least. And the laundry room we can get in here now. Bathroom we can get in. Alright, that's a little nicer. I think that with... These guys, just move them out of the way a little bit. Still need to shrink down the radius. So now, now you can still step on it a little bit. Third person is just a little bit rough to work with here. Shrink that down. Get back into here. Um, capsule component. Changes to 30. And close enough. And the key binding is on the door instead of on the player character because this is actually using my normal player character. There we go. Now we can walk around. Now, other things that would need to happen is sound. And of course, doing a, a lighting build and shit like that. So, um,. Still lighting, build only. So what can you do with this? Um, as it is now, uh, we're doing this lighting build. Let's look at um, meshes. Garage door, dresser, DVD, folders for everything. I'm not against that. Um, Windows, these are the actual meshes. Ah, cold coffee. Materials, lots and lots and lots of materials. That's a good thing. Um, particles for the fire. Well, we don't have any fire sound. Textures. Let's go back to the meshes. Yeah, 4%. It's going to take a little while on, on the lighting build. Um, door, slide. I guess technically we could leave it open. Trouble is, we don't have a fence to go around the outside of the, the property. Um, walls. So there is somewhat some modularity you can work with here. Um, and that's the thing that um, that will make or break an asset like this. And we'll 
let's look at this guy. So, walls. They're see-through on the outside, but while you're in there, got an interior room. Mix and match, there's a garage. There's all the different walls. Is there safe? Where's the stairs? Well, this looks like the area where the front door was. It's definitely the interior walls only. Not as modular as I would like. Pictures. Uh, walls we just looked at. TV stand. Toilet table. Okay. Windows wide, small. So we got the inside and the outside portion of that. Um, whiteboard. And magnets. Okay. Our brush. Sticker. Two different whiteboards. And there's no pen. Yay. Um, let's see here. Floors. Okay. Where in the hell was the stairs? You got books. Bonus modular interiors. Stairs, okay. There's a blueprint for the stairs. Okay. You know, might just be combining all three of the meshes in there. Baby bed, bathroom sink, bathroom wire. And I got shampoo and Shiite. Alright, just about done with the lighting build. Cabinets, boxes, books. Changing dresser, clock. One thing I always would like to see, and I don't know how to do it, and it's something that I would like to look into later on, is making an interior wall clock that actually showed the correct time for your local time. I'll say like, if I look over here at this clock, oh, well, it's, you know, like 10 after 8. It's not. It's 10 p.m. my time. There's no sound for the fireplace. we got to fix that. Um, the size of this was a one, just about one gigabyte download. And as much as I hate to add more shit in here, size-wise, I'd really like to have those sounds from... Why is the add new... No path is selected as an add target. What in the hell? Okay, well, I'll select that. But I can come over here, add starter content, and as soon as it adds in, I can delete everything back out of it that I don't need. I don't need all the geometries, I don't need all the materials, I don't need all the textures, I don't need any of that junk. But then again, I really want a fence. Something to keep players inside here. Um, materials. No, nope. that's starter content. Materials. You see, you got brick right there. And I would kind of like brick texture for a fence. Be nice if it matched that. Kitchen floor. Let's 
back deck. Kind of like more lighting outside, but we'll worry about that later. Don't know why all these actors have cameras. I don't know why they needed to do that. Alright, so... I'm just going to throw some walls up. BSP Geometry... No, we're not going to put one in there because we don't have the material selected. Let's select our material. Brick, new, and then drag one in. That way, we get our material on there. Width-wise, we want X. Going to be 30. Yeah, that's close enough. Z, let's make that 300. At 150. And we want to scale this up a little bit, but we don't want to scale it with that. Don't scale BSP geometries with that. We know we want to modify the Y, so the Y is going to be 1,200 is not enough. Try 3,000 is not enough. 3,800. There. 4,000. Okay, that's what it is. What happens if I zero it out? Oh my god, somebody actually used zero coordinates? Oh no, their base terrain down here isn't zero. Control C, Control V. Um, Playfect. Grab that, Control C, Control V. And. Rotate it nanny. Lovely. And That's going to be good enough. We want that wall just tall enough to where we can't jump over it. Could also lower the jump down as much too, as much as we needed to. Um, yay! So everything is looking good so far for as much as what we have. <sighs> Honestly. This would be kind of fun also, since the scaling of everything is off a little bit. Um, it would be kind of interesting to actually scale this up 10 times or 20 times and make it a giant house so you can run around in your tiny. So, okay, we got fire here. We need. Got all the lighting and everything else. That's not exactly how I would have done it, but all right. Let's go in here and audio fire cue. Now we go inside. We can hear the fire crackling. Yay. But when we get out of that room, we don't hear it anymore. God, I love sound cues and sound attenuation. All right, so these TVs, there's nothing on the screen. I think she would take... And let's... Where is that sound cue? Where is the 
continuation. Oh, screw it. I'll leave it the way it is for now. Um, I would normally make a separate attenuation for that. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and do it instead of screwing around here. Um, go to sounds, sound attenuation, fireplace, go in here, 400 and 600, save, close. And let's go into fire queue, attenuation, fireplace, save. Now, if we go in here, should have a much smaller sound radius for the fire. Hear it lovely in here, but if I go in, go upstairs, I don't want to hear it upstairs. And I hear it upstairs. So what you want to do is... Where the hell is my fire? You can see the radius there. Holy shit. Why is it that far out? Um... I'm using a fireplace queue. And fireplace attenuation. You know, again, this isn't how I would normally do this. Um, there, let's try that. It's still a little bit too big. Let's go with 300 and 400. a little better um, just so I, I get this sphere down close enough um, that's something you want to play around with the the more you get involved in and in setting up your maps and stuff you want your sounds to work correctly but you don't want to have it so involved that you know I can hear it when I pan down all the way but you wouldn't normally be I would hope that you're not normally in this view right here all right jump over yes you can in the garage no problem Open door, open. Open says me. All right, so we have walled in yard, can't fall out. Um, not a whole lot of lighting. I'm not gonna do another lighting build. It's just gonna take too long while I'm I'm recording or streaming. I want to add some more stuff for the backyard and fill out the yard so it's actually more usable. Um, Technically speaking, I could spend a few minutes and actually build out this door so that when you come over to it, you hit E and it opens up like the other doors do. Um, you'd want one side to slide instead of the other, so you only have one one door sliding. That way you can go in and out of the back door. Um... You know, with that outside wall, if I wanted to finish it off better, I'd put another BSP geometry up here and make it look like a stone cap or something like that and put some lights up here on top and things of that nature just to kind of fill it out more and to make it more realistic looking. Um... The toys, the lights up here, everything looks kind of cool. Um, 
the hell is that? Camera zero one animation. Okay. Well, other stuff that I added in here, the other pack that I added in was the pedestrian animations. Uh, another really cool thing here. Uh, <laughs> there's 216 animations in here. Like, say, with the bed, you got to have somebody in it, right? Yeah, that's good enough. So, for shits and grins, we're just going to put somebody in here. And we were at point nine point nine point nine now let's see what happens and no again this would not be the normal way of doing that just placing the animation in there where's that room and the room is down here It's kind of in the pillow a little bit, but yeah. Shrink this character down a little bit. Point eight. Yeah, it's a little better. But at least we have somebody sleeping in the bed. Now oh, let's see here. Don't have anybody showering. That's one thing I don't have. Plenty of sitting down stuff. Push ups. Um, I did before where you could actually press a emote key and, and do the uh, push ups, set ups, and flip the middle finger and that kind of stuff. Kind of give you an idea of the size here. Well, let's go with point eight. Kind of looks like he's praying. <laughs> Please get out of my butt. I'm not going to go into the full Beavis and Butthead on that one. There we go. Let's actually select this one. Go to that. Change it to that one. Yeah, let's see here. Point eight. And this is just purely messing around right now. Um, But you could add other stuff in here. Like I said, I'm just kind of screwing around with this one. It has potential, but I think just because of the scaling, everything just feels a little bit too small. I mean, even 
changing the scale of the character, the collision boxes, and or the collision capsule and everything else. It's just chilling. We changed the guy in the bathroom. Try to take a dump in peace. We could always move the chair back and put somebody in the chair. See, the thing is, like, with this laptop and with the TV screens and stuff, I actually like to put people in them doing things or, or, or stuff in the screens to where it looks like um, you're doing something. Watching a video, whatever. Sneeze. Sit down animations. Um... Sitting down writing. Bored as hell. And we'll do the same thing. Point eight. More care about the positioning on the table than the chair. I'll move the chair to the the, the character. All right. This room? Nope, that's the bedroom. What's this room? Yeah, close enough. I guess if you wanted to, you could set up some form of combat and run around and shoot at each other in a small house like this. Um, it's just doesn't feel big enough for me. Uh, the door is kind of quirky. Um, I hear the fireplace out here. Be a peeping Tom, look inside the window. It looks nice. Um, not perfect. But not bad. I mean, it's nice that it, it's free, and it does come with some things that you can use. Would have been cool to have working light switches, but that's easy enough to do. It takes a little time to get all set up, but yeah. All right, the door did not trap us this time, which is a good thing. Setting up the door, this door right here to work, is the same basic principle as this. But on the timeline, you're moving your object left and right instead of pivoting it. Just using timelines. I mean, I've done it before. Use it to create Star Trek doors and cool stuff like that. Oops, sorry, dude. And we could put somebody right there. Maybe somebody up there. Is there anything in these closets? No. At least nothing in that one. Nothing in that one. It is open, though. So the pivot point. Eh, you really can't do anything with those. Laundry room, kids' room. So, in the meshes, door 
main. So that's the front door. Door narrow. Sliding door. So looks like technically I could grab that. It's all one piece. It's a blueprint. Okay. Like you have to go into the blueprint. Viewport. Um, since that is parented to that. That's cool. I mean, we can slide it, have it open. So now that door is open. So if we want to, we can go in here and walk right onto the backyard. So what I would do is walk over, press E, and it would slide open. And then after a short amount of time, it would just slide back closed again. Or whenever you end overlap, it would automatically close. But that's just me. Would have been nice though if. Alright, so. Is there anything in here? Okay, there's shelves in there. But then again, it's also a blueprint. Nothing in there. So if you wanted to open them up, you'd have to do it manually or set up functionality to where they open and close. All right, want me to save, even though I didn't actually make any permanent changes. I opened something and closed it back up, but it wants me to change it again or save it. Um, refrigerator. Just a static mesh. You can't open and close that. I mean, there's enough stuff in here to where I'm sure you can come up with a good use for it. It's free, so you know, can't really complain about that too much. Um, kitchen stuff for the walls. Let's just go ahead and save all. Make sure everything's good with that, and. Let's go to new level. Okay. So I just want to take a look at these wall sections. Um, garage. Let's go to world settings. Third person game mode. All right, they do have collisions, that's good. There is no outside material, just inside material only. So if that's the inside, where's the outside stuff? Outside walls. Particles, just the fire. Walls is just internals. safe. Well, I guess you can open the safe and have the handle there, so I guess if you wanted to make it usable, you could make it where it rotates the handle and the safe door opens. Yep, floor. Garage floor and all little pieces parts, but they're all set to the individual things here. DVDs. Go back up to the top again. Meshes. AC. Baby bed. Bathroom sink. Bathroom wear. Bonus modular interiors. Here's your closet. Stairs where I looked at that, but doorstep, window, frame. Regular walls, books, boxes, cabinets. Again, there's our ceilings. Where is the exterior? There's the garage door. It's nice that it has the animation. I didn't expect that. The 
That is cool. Doors. Why with footstep? I don't see the exterior. Lantern. Hmm. Interesting. You got the interior walls. See, that was the garage. Now, if I put that in here, see its position all the way up there? That tells me now, if I come in here, go to details, and do 0, 0, 0, and throw this in here, and do the same thing. 0, 0, 0, and let's lower this down. I didn't make this floor, so... Guess that's good enough for now. Um, but I'm just going to start dragging them in here. Grab this one and zero it out. Grab that one. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm getting at here, but everything by the developer of this pack was set so that um, it was for this particular demo. So as I'm placing these things down and zeroing out everything here, they're just falling into place for the interior wall structure of the building itself. Already preset for that particular scene. Yep, so that's the first floor, so... So if you're wanting to recreate that, then... You could just drop all these in. And use the same location coordinates for all of this stuff. Hell, I'd probably even say throw it all into a blueprint. I'm probably going to end up with duplicates on something here. But don't care for now. Like I said, scurrying around. I know I already got the garage in there. I know I duplicated at least one other wall. So now if I hit play, I'm inside a wall. Of course, the floor doesn't match the um, the layout. Here's a stairwell with no stairs. Yeah, I didn't make this one, so do you care? So there, now we can walk in and out. But you can see the materials are not applied to the outside. It's just to the inside. And again, I don't see the um, the exterior. Grab that and All right, that fits right there. Yeah, everything is set off of um, 
this. So pretty much you're you're laying out everything and you can actually build this into a blueprint is what I'd probably end up doing. I'm setting up lighting and stuff like that in there as well. Um, Everything is going to be keyed in directly off zero, zero, and zero location. But still going to have to manually put the stairs in. So this is all just experimenting with the uh, asset pack. It's free, so I guess there's not a whole lot of complaints you can make about a free asset pack, right? If you have to change things around and modify things. Uh, to get it to work the way you want it to. Yeah, whatever. It's free. What you want for free? The world. Alright, so now we got floor textures. We still don't have the uh, stairs. And... So got walls, I got floors. I'm not gonna worry about the ceilings. Then I take all of these and throw them in there. And then zero out their location, that kind of stuff. I'm not worried about it. So let's see what happens if we put this in here. It's not gonna Hell, it did index off of zero zero zero. Oh, no, but huh. I can't fit through there. Oh, righty then. This cross hatching. Tells me that it's doubled up. Wall 16, yeah, deleted that and it's back to fine again. Well, some of the things aren't lined up perfectly. That ain't right. Yeah, whatever. But the whole point was I could not find the exterior. Unless you guys see it. Closet doors. Garage door. You know what? I don't know where the shit is. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Um, go to the actors, and there's blueprints for all these different things. Windows and lighting and everything else. Materials. You know what? When all else fails, quit being a dumbass and go to levels. Demonstration. No, we aren't saving shit on this one. Click there. House exterior. Static mesh. Magnifying glass. Oh. And the root folder of meshes. So now if we go into file, new level, default, drag that in here. We just have the exterior. Uh, 
Ah, dumbass. Third person game mode. Interesting. Okay. I was kind of hoping for something that was modular, but, yeah, well. Buggers can't be choosers, right? Well, let's go back over here and... Modular interiors. Okay, don't save. Okay. Interesting. And overview usually has all the pieces parts scattered out onto a map. Yeah, like so. Not all of them, but a large majority of them. Third person game mode. What and the immortal fuck? Hit play. And there is a camera actor. Ugh. Why would you do that shit? Put a player start in. Seriously. I don't care. Don't care. Man. Now, if you want modular buildings, then you have to get a modular pack. Um, yeah. I had kind of high hopes for this, but... I just... I don't know. I don't know why there's so many cameras and camera animations and matinee actors and that kind of crap. Still need to tweak the character a little bit more. Play around with the lighting for the exterior. Could do something with it, but... You know... It looks nice. It does. It really looks nice. I don't know how much use I have for it, though. The interior is really not big enough to do a, a shooter game inside of. Um, I would venture to say, since it is free, if anybody wants to go ahead and grab it from the marketplace, it's free for May. Grab it and basically recreate this map right here, but scale up the house five times, or ten times, or twenty times. Scale up everything. Grab all these actors. Not the cameras. Nobody cares about your cameras. But essentially, just grab every freaking one of these 700 actors that are in here. Or recreate and make your own map like I was doing before. Um, new file, new level, default. And just delete that. Go in. Start placing stuff in and recreate the map. Get everything in there. Once it's done, you've got everything in here. And the house is functional. You can move around, everything is it's normal scale up all these and what I will do is create in here right click create folder floors and when I get all of the floors in that was floor three they'll be in that, that folder there that's actually three Didn't put four in yet. Since everything is king off of zero 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 location, you can drag it into the map zero zero zero. Um, there was some things we had to change with where the stairwell was.
but like, as I was saying there was to actually take it scale up everything five times or ten times now these aren't going to be completely right because there was an issue with where the stairwell was for some reason so there to there floors and let's make sure in our world settings we have third person lovely second floor let's actually go ahead and was in the root of meshes. That's why I didn't see it before, because it was thar. Details. I'm gonna put that in the floors. Walls. There's nothing in there, but then let me see, go ahead and put everything in, scale it up, and check the FPS that runs at. Yeah, um, well, it's any other version, it, it was running smooth. I mean, doesn't look great lighting wise. I didn't even see you sneak in there, but I saw your. Uh, your pack that was in uh, the marketplace here for free. Uh, walls. Yeah, one of the projects I was working on a while back was um, taking like the the polygon town and creating a modular environment and creating a house. But then scaling up everything. So what it was is you felt like you were a miniature, like the size of a bug or whatever, doing shit like pillows that had uh, bouncy effects to them. Just you know, there's been a few games that have come out like that, like the army men based games and shit like that, where your tiny little plastic army man inside of a a regular sized house so the the battlegrounds are actually like huge environments but you're the one that's actually tiny um, one of the, my f you know some of my favorite maps for Unreal Tournament were one was a bathroom one was a kitchen they were the the giant house things and oh my god we had so much fun land parties and shit like that running around these huge environments like that blowing each other up and having a good old freaking time you know, even playing with bots and stuff just like those tiny environments or those super sized environments where you're you're the one that's tiny Now inside of a wall. Yep, figured that was going to happen. Yeah, with this one, what I had to do was, um, and he just popped in. I haven't added the stairs in yet. But um, I'll actually save this one and come back and pedal around with it later. Um, not yet. I don't have a mouse folder. Or do I? Yes. Save all, save selected maps. Totally fucking 
blew the freaking spelling on that one. Um, but what I had to do here was, um, yeah, whatever, save. Modify the skill of the character and the capsule and everything. Because the skill of this house um, was just way off. They added the wall outside. Just in case I decided I wanted to do something with it. Try to prevent the character from jumping out. I'll probably go back in and change the jump scale and shit like that later too, but... But I mean, you couldn't walk around the table because your your capsule collision was just too freaking huge. Um, you couldn't get inside inside the rooms. You're just chilling on the couch. Um, oh, excuse me. Um, the overlap of the um, the doors. You couldn't even get into freaking this room right here hardly at all because the collision for this room right here was too freaking big open up you were getting smashed by doors I know it's free so can't really complain too much I'm sitting in front of this door to open it and this one opened got rid of the bean bag that was right there because you just you couldn't walk in the damn room Hello. Forgot there was a bathroom in here. I'm gonna say, where the hell's a damn toilet? Who has a bathroom without a damn toilet? But I don't know if you you're familiar with the game um, House Party. And I went to the blueprint, opened up the back door. Um, this reminds me so much of the house from the game House Party. I mean, it's a little different. I mean, the the room scale is off a little bit on, in here. And I still got to fix the sound attenuation for the the fireplace. But the refrigerator. There was a, the pantry here, which these don't don't open. They didn't finish doing that, but no biggie. Um, the kitchen is very similar. Um. Just from videos that I watched, I don't have the game, but from videos that I watched on it, I believe there was a chair right here, and the sofa was different. The, the rooms were slightly different downstairs. Um, you get upstairs, there was a room here at the end with, you know, the big bedroom. You could open up the closets. Um, the room over here, there was another chair right there. Um, damn doors. I think I got character scaled at, at point nine. Um, on the mesh. Yeah, point nine on the mesh, and then the capsule component. The half height was set to 80, and radius set to 32. Just so, I mean, could get through more. It's not perfect on the elevation right now, but I feet are a little bit off the ground. If you hit play and look. So I need to adjust the capsule like by like two or three on the elevation. But, you know, you said this right here I think would would be kind of cool if you enlarged it. Yeah. The... Okay, it does come out. I, I was looking at the um, the material here. It was like I didn't notice that it was actually raised out from there. Again, this is sidestepping. I'm trying to get my brain wrapped around being back in Unreal Engine 4. I've got. This is 420.3. I've also got 422.1. Um, the These are just animations that I threw in from Pedestrian's animation. Totally digging that, that animation pack. Um, I mean, hell. I forget how much I paid for it. It was like 20 bucks, something like that. 20, 25 bucks. 
and it was on sale in the marketplace. And shortly after I bought it, they updated the damn thing and added more animations. Um, currently, right now, it's 216 animations. And it was good because I had some of them set up, like waving. Um, I modified one of them. Like startled pointing. I don't remember which one I actually did, but I modified one of them to where it was actually bring his arm out and just gives the middle finger instead. So I had to have the flip off animation, but I had those in. I don't know if I even still have the the playable version of it. Um, I accidentally deleted a freaking project. It wasn't one that I was intending to delete. It just happened to have an oddball name to it and I didn't catch it in time and deleted it and emptied the recycling bin and everything else and I mean it was gone gone no way of getting it back kind of sad because I was starting to make some progress on things that I wanted to do with it and it was starting to get fun <laughs> still had a lot more tweaks to do on the multiplayer aspect of it but it was you know yeah it was a work in progress for in the entertainment, just a goof off uh, project, but it was a fun goof off project. It wasn't focused on combat. It was, um, it had it in. Uh, what the hell was it? Sorry, I'm browsing through folders. Well, you guys can't see what I'm doing, but it is okay. They can get a bite back on on the initial overlap on the... I need to, to get back to work on learning the HTML5 stuff and actually getting Unreal Engine to actually work inside of the uh, browser so I can get things to work that way. Uh, So that's something that I definitely need to get back into learning. I just started messing with it and hadn't really got it to work just yet. But that's something that I definitely want to get into is the HTML5 aspect of it so that I can um, create interactive stuff like uh, the one that I was looking into was um, a company that makes pistols, custom pistols. And you could sit there and change the options on the gun on a little menu on the side and it changed the, the pistol in here you could press you know buttons to make it rotate and that kind of crap and um, hit a button and cycle the slide to it or you could drop the magazine uh, rotate it around look through the sides that kind of stuff uh, but haven't heard back from the manufacturer yet and in, in their full interest um, jokingly told them they could send me one of their pistols for free um, but I don't think they're going to send me a $4,000 handgun for free uh, but I will get them started on the right path as soon as I learn how to do it I don't even remember the damn name of this thing I kept the packaged version of it I thought it was meetings or I did a lot of projects to try to get people motivated to to try to do different things and trying to keep people motivated on something besides their own personal goals and dreams not easy to do well hell I know I didn't delete the damn thing from the playable version. Little things like trying to push people to learn. You know, I get a lot of people asking a lot of questions, and, and it's like some of them, you know, and you just want to say, okay, this is how you do it. 
and show them how to do it. But I try to get them to get over themselves a little bit and actually learn the the troubleshooting techniques to get into the aspect of uh, well, this is what happens when you do this, or you know the conditions, or creating variables, or troubleshooting and trying to get through their own problems, instead of holding their hand and saying, "Okay, you create this node, then this node, then this node, then this node, connect his to here, and do that," and and showing them how to do the blueprints and making it for them essentially, and all they're doing is copying what I'm doing on the screen, and you're not learning that way, and I'm trying to not just do it that way, and a lot of people that's what they want is they want someone to basically do it for them so they can copy it I, I don't want people to basically copy and paste shit I want people to, to learn their own way of doing things to get one thing to create a light in Unreal Engine 4 there's probably five different ways you can do it or more and you know that's the thing is find which way works best for your environment. Yeah, I know. And trying to get other people involved is sometimes is a waste of time. Um, yeah, and that's what I've done. I've been taking some time away from doing streaming and, and doing how-tos and, you know, I've got some people that, that are, you know, frequent my channel that are, you know, are good, they know what they're doing, and some that don't, and yeah, whatever, but, you know, I lost focus of what I wanted to do with Unreal Engine 4, and uh, this isn't it, which is on the screen, this is definitely not it, um, in fact, let's actually close this project, open up another one, file, open a project, the one that I was really kind of screwing around with that I'm just toying around with the idea of is oh shit did I delete the damn thing you dumbass you see I got way too many freaking projects and I deleted a bunch of projects earlier to kind of make some room that were things that I didn't need You know what? Screw you. Uh, library. Because I have two different versions installed. Um, Summit on Beach. I bet you I deleted that son of a bitch. Um, you know, I never did do a, a full SMST 421. Um, I need to do to get 422 done. Um, I need to make another update for it as well. But it was the, the the fireworks thing. Yeah. Um, thankfully, funding hasn't really been an issue for me. Um. I have, you know, I'm fat, dumb, and happy. I have enough coming in to where I don't have to... I'm not starving, let's put it that way. Um, so I'm thankful in that regard. I don't remember what the damn project was. Um, but I, I just I wanted to clear my mind and... Um, started doing some knives again and did a knife a couple weeks ago about two about two weeks ago and after I got it most of the way sharp it's not even done sharpening yet uh, I was you know when you're sharpening something you you want oh let's let's try cutting a piece of paper let's try cutting this and you want to test it out and, and see how good you're doing and it slipped and it hit my damn finger and yeah, it chopped all the way to the frickin' bone on my social finger. So then I had to have a, a splint on my finger, and you try typing without your middle finger on your left hand. So as you're typing, you're like, 
and you're hitting the keyboard and you're hitting three keys at once with my middle finger disabled I was at a loss I mean that is a very important finger for me I mean if you've seen me drive I've got to have that finger you know actually I think this is the project I was screwing around with compiling shaders really you need to compile shaders so the knife making thing that got put on hold and I couldn't really do anything I couldn't even play games for a couple of days I mean I could still fiddle with my pecker I mean that's my other hand I'm still good with that you know but getting some strange was out of the question because my left hand was out of commission um because oh, I made it nighttime started screwing around with the fireworks Because 4th of July is coming up, um, part of what I wanted to do, I'm not really crazy about that sky, I'm going to have to fiddle with the sky too. Um, yeah, I'm actually going to go ahead and do um, a good video on it tomorrow. Um, I did a couple videos on, on particle effects and shit like that earlier. But I'll do a good video, um, I'll do a good hour on it tomorrow. And remind people to, to check in. And while we're, we've got an hour left in the day, may the 4th be with you. All those damn nerds and shit, you know. 4th, May the 4th. It's Star Wars thing, man. Come on. But yeah, I'm going to do something for the 4th of July and trying to get all my fireworks dialed in and uh, the, the types of fireworks. This is just throwing a bunch of them in there. But yeah, I'll do a good video on your. Um, just remind me later. I, I know. Yep. Salute, brother. I'm gonna see you. Don't be a stranger. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna start streaming more often, just kind of goofing around, so I can get back into focus and making my shit again. Um, I need to get ready to get out of here too. Go play some Division Two. <laughs> And it smells like my neighbor's smoking that skunkweed again. It smells like dog shit and barbecue sauce. Without the barbecue sauce. But yeah, I'm going to start working on something for 4th of July. And I'm going to incorporate fireworks and shit into the release of my project. I've got a goal is to get it done for a release about a week before 4th of July for one of the, the projects at least so I'm going to get on out of here and um, for the next couple days I'm going to be doing some other videos I'll, I'll do a video tomorrow on uh, John's Asset Pack that's in the marketplace and I'll see what else he's got in the marketplace besides the ones in there for free but definitely get it for free I mean hell animations are animations so you can never have too many animations ever um, but yeah I'm gonna get back to work on, on my project I just had to get my head clear for a little while and I'm almost there all right guys thanks for watching and we will see you soon